Shall we begin? Oh, you don't even know I don't that. know because no. I'm telling so you, you my Islam human man. mind cannot comprehend how God is able to come down. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, he, he spoke to one of his men about why you are a rush. A man, he was in a rush to go home. So Muhammad, he said to him, why you are in a rush? Why you are in a hurry to go? He said, well, I married. The story have different uh, report, but anyway, all of them, they are the same. Jabir said, Abdullah, etc. He said, I married a woman whereupon Allah messenger me, etc. Allah pray on him, say it to me. Have you married? I said, yes. Okay. Then he said, uh, is it a virgin or a previously married one? Which mean a widow or divorced? I said, it's a previously married. Whereupon he said, which means Muhammad, where have you been away for uh, from the amusement of a virgin? Muhammad is trying to say to him here, you are missing a lot. The amusement of a virgin here, this is a false translation. The word he speak about, about a young child who is a child. Let me show you how the Muslim, the same hadith, the same story, when you change the translator, everything changed. Because I believe this work here, not done by one person, there's many translators working in this translation. So if we go down, we read the same story. Look how the story changed. Abdullah died and he left behind him nine or seven daughters. The one who is talking is the same guy, Jabir. You see Jabir. Jabir here, you see? The same reporter in the, in the previous hadith. So this guy, he's talking about what he, he inherited from his family uh, uh, member, uh, a bunch of kids, you know, so obviously this is his brother. Uh, so I married a woman who had previously married Allah messenger Allah pray on him and salute him. This is a far translation. It doesn't say may Allah pray peace may peace on upon him No, it doesn't say that uh, He said Jabir have you married? I said yes. He said again a virgin or previously married. I said messenger of Allah with one who is previously married whereupon he said why you don't marry a young girl? You see the word there, young girl, is not there in the previous translation. It's gone. The goat ate it. And he continues saying, why you don't marry a young girl so that she could sport with her? You could sport with her and she could sport with you. Or you could amuse with her and she could amuse you. Obviously, Muhammad, he have a perverted mind. He believed that having a wife, she is a child. That is something amusing. So we can play together. So he, uh, I, I believe this Muhammad is suffering from a kind of illness. Like, a, you know, mostly he have a very tough, actually, even the, the stories of Muslims report that Muhammad was born in a family. They rejected him. And he grew up in a, in a, in a, in a, uh, moving from place to place, from uh, from uncle to uncle, he was kicked out of his uh, uncle house. Uh, uh, even even when his mother she delivered him, according to the Muslim stories, he was sent to a woman in the in the Bedouin side to do nursing for him, and that is weird. I mean, why his mother don't nurse him? Why a man he had many wives, like his, his grandfather have many women, and they have many children, and they have wives. Why not one of those women who they are? You know, and in the old days, women they get pregnant always, not like now. You know, so they keep having kids all every nine months. So there's no way a woman in her in in his family, not even one of them, she can nurse him. We are talking about a tribe. We are not talking about like a, I have one sister, you have two sister, you have etc. We are talking about the tribe. So there's no way no woman she can nurse him. And if even no woman can nurse him, why they send him you know, uh, uh, to, the, to the desert? Obviously, he was rejected. 
and, and mostly he was rejected because he was born four years after his father's death. So the family, they rejected him for some time. And then the Bedouin women, when he fell down, if you remember the story, when he fell down, he, she thought almost he's dead. Or he had he have an epilepsy, obviously. So she sent him back to his family because she didn't want to take responsibility. He might die between her hands, so she would get scared. And because of that, Muhammad, he missed his childhood. This is why he, as an adult man and a prophet, he is wondering why this guy Jabir is doing something wrong. And what is wrong, what is the wrong he is doing? He is marrying a previously married woman, not a child. He, she can amuse him. So he's encouraging the man. To think in a better way you are wrong you should not do that but the man is not complaining obviously he's happy he's saying nothing about his marriage he's not saying my wife is bad actually from the hadith it says that the, the if, if I show you the different uh, uh, report of the hadith you will see the man he was in a rush to go home and the prophet he asked him why you are in a rush why you want to go I said but I'm married I know I'm, I'm newly married so I miss my wife so he asked him is she previously married or she is a virgin? The man he said, well, she is uh, previously married. And that hit the nerve of Muhammad saying to, saying to himself, why you don't marry a young child? What's wrong with you? So you could sport with her and she could sport with you and she could amuse you. Are you stupid or what? And obviously, this advice is an advice of a man who he like what he's advising. There's no way he's advising you to go and get a younger child to marry from unless this is what he loves to do. And this is what amuses him. Look at the language he is using. He is talking about sporting with her and she amuses you and you amuse her. What, what does that mean? You know, it's a child. Whatever you do, she love it. You get her a candy, she jump from happiness. She's a child, not like a woman. It's hard to satisfy. So get a child, you idiot. You are you don't know what you are missing. All right? If Muhammad was a good man. He will never say such a thing to a married man. He is happily married. He has no problem. He is not complaining. So why are you advising the man to go and find someone she is a child? It's a proof that he is a perverted minded who have, you know, a mind of a man who want to have sex with the children. And he is encouraging someone to do such a thing, even though he is not complaining. But here we need to ask ourselves a question before we go back to the topic. If Muhammad he liked to have sex with the children, same as Aisha, then why he married Khadija, who is a lot older than him? The answer is very clear. Is her money? It's the money. She was rich. She used to work for her. There's no question that she is rich. Muhammad himself he used to be her employee. Because as you see. If Muhammad have a choice to marry, he will choose to have a younger child over a widow or a previously married. And Khadija is both, is a previously married and she is a widow. Actually, Muhammad was the third man according to Muslim stories. Every day at 4.30 p.m. New York time, we are going to have a live broadcast in YouTube. For now, we are going to use the Arabian Prophet account. Thank you.